हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू अवर चैनल नर्सरी टू वर्सिटी इट इज एन इनिशियटिव टू इनलाइटन द ग्लोबल पब्लिक विद द नॉलेज ऑफ सर्वल मिसलेनियस फील्ड्स आई एम वन ऑफ द मेम्बर ऑफ नर्सरी टू वर्सिटी एंड इन दिस सीरीज ऑफ चैनल आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस लॉजिक इन कंप्यूटर साइंस सो लेट स्टार्ट टू डेज टॉपिक फर्स्ट वी सी द कॉमन एजम्पन अबाउट द लॉजिक सो हेयर वी आर सो द लॉजिक इज अ बेसिक ऑफ ऑल मैथमेटिकल रीजनिंग and of all automated reasoning it is the mathematical base of computer science and logic have been called the calculus of computer science so these three are the basic assumptions about the logic related to computer science so to move forward we are going to discuss about few definitions about logic so here is our first definition that logic is not about finding out what is true and what is false it is about or it is focus on how we reliably get a conclusion from the given assumption so for this i can share one example with you all like we have two statement our first statement is says that if demand arises then company expand and our second statement is if company expand then they will hire the employees so what is conclusion here the conclusion we can say if demand arises then company will hire the employees so this is a type of logic so logic is not about figuring out what is true what is false but it's about finding the reliable conclusion from the given assumptions our second definition is any formal system can be considered as logic if it has three property one is a well defined syntax a well defined semantic and a well defined proof theory and if we consider about our third definition it consists of three words that is logic is a truth preserving system in this if we talk about truth preserving system there is initial statements are true and we are considering that inferred statement should be true if we talk about system system is a set of transformation based on the syntax and if we talk about inference inference is a process from where we are driving our new statement from the given old statement so these are the three basic definition about the logic now if we move towards the logic roles in our life so if we talk about the computer professional perspective so logic is to develop a language for a situation we encountered in our day to day life or we can say we are talk about the formal languages formal languages are needed because logician were fail to express their feeling in natural language then they are moved towards the formal language and formal language consist of mainly two type one is propositional language and second one is propositional logic and second one is predicate logic so we will discuss propositional logic and predicate logic in our next lectures and we can say that if we talk about any applications of logic so apart from the understanding of basic mathematical reasoning application of logic can be considered in computer science here i have discussed few example in the terms of computer science subject where logic is going to apply so in computer architecture we are dealing with logic gates in software engineering we are dealing with specification and verification in programming language we are dealing with semantic and logical programming if we talk about database it means we are talking about sql and relational algebra and if we talk about artificial intelligence it means we are talking about the proven theorems or automatic proven theorem so this is about the application of logic so it's all about the logic definition basic what is logic and how it's dealing in our day to day life the example which we have covered like the company expanded and the application in which area logic is going to affect us so this is all about today's lecture hope you have enjoyed this lecture you can also follow us on twitter facebook linkedin instagram you can see the links here and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated thanks for watching stay tuned keep learning